This is fascinating. It is not the area I would have chosen, of course. But to physically walk within the Fade. Right. You like it here. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Literally. Solus, you're the expert on this place. Anything helpful? The Fade is shaped by intent and emotion. Remain focused, and it will lead you where you wish to go. The demon that controls this area is extremely powerful. Some variety of fear, I would guess. I suggest you remain wary of its manipulations, and prepare for what is certain to be a fascinating experience. That looks odd. Take a closer look.
could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. From the little I remember of what happened at Haven, I thought you were dead. I fear the Divine is indeed dead. It is likely we face a spirit, or a demon. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The real Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know, because I have examined memories like yours, stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly, for Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. The big demon Eremond was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby? Yes. Well, shit. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. On here? Run where you can! Warn them! Why are you doing this? You, of all people! Your mark did not come from Andraste. 
It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. So this was what, an accident? A random ricochet in the middle of a fight? And if it was? If it was, then neither the Maker nor Andraste were in any way involved in this. I'm just... If you believe in the Maker, then you believe he made this world and everything in it, including your accident. And if you do not, then nothing has changed. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. I've never met the Divine. You think that was really her? We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? She seems interested in helping us. That much is clear. And the Nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories, that's low, even for a demon. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, every emotion. Save perhaps desire. Be wary. A nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. a visitor. Some silly little girl comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from her shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger? What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home, so by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. I expected worse. 
These are but minor servants of the Nightmare. Pity. Watch out! I don't know what those are, but they're coming our way! Perhaps I should be afraid, facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> like Blackwall, are there's nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. I'll show you a Warden's strength, beast.
Once again, Hawk is in danger because of you, Farrick. You found the Red Lyrium. You brought Hawk here. Just keep talking, Smiley. Ma Herelan, Ma Banal in Asalin, Marsolas in Amardin. Bonal Nadas. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Those were little fears. Tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself. And they take the form of spiders. Something so many fear. Spiders? That is not what I saw. Remember, we walk in the Fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. Wonderful. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. We only have a short time. Ask what you must. So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? If I was chosen, I just don't understand why. Why me? Why this? You are not the first to ask such questions. Did Andras do not question when the Maker charged her with an impossible task? Did she not feel unworthy? Her questions didn't lessen her heroism. So now I'm a hero? Not yet. Perhaps not ever. The choice will be yours. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. So... 
All of this is just a dream, part of the fate. It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and a nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks the door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. I'd like to know more about the Nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was, once. But now, it helps no, but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear, and pain, and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow. As you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. We should keep moving.
running! They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit? I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. Are you a memory of the Divine? A reflection? If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal Divine perished at the Temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. As I said, the Grey Wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of Corypheus. We can discuss this further once we return to Adamant. Yes, Adamant, where the Inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the Wardens. How dare you judge us? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. <sighs> Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. What are you saying? You want to get rid of the Wardens? Everyone makes mistakes. They would have died to save us. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones. But an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. Form up! I'm with you! Divine is the key to escaping from the Fade. Warden Stroud. How must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens, only to watch them fall? Or worse, 
to know that you were responsible for their destruction. When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we will end this wretched beast. Think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. <laughs> I guess things just float whenever they feel like it here. Wonder what's up there. Or maybe it's best we never find out.
Down you go! to outrun anything in this swamp.
doing all right. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the faith. I grow fat on your fear. Nothing.
You will die in agony! You cannot stand against me. Three wardens caused this. A warden must... A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Stroud. Inquisitor, it has been an honor. Right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the Mages are free and Corypheus loses his demon army. Though, as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. They need something to believe in. They do, indeed. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Warden Stroud died striking a blow against a Servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice, and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now?
You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. Hawk sent me one final report. She's on her way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Inatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud, and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orle falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Callan, Josephine and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or a soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. <laughs>